What's going on everybody? My name is David. I go by King of Creams on Instagram. Thank you for joining us today and thank you for tuning in to my first episode of King of Creams TV. All right, so one of the first questions I get a lot uh, when people either meet me or they ask is, how did I get into ice creams? And uh, funny story, it did not start out with ice creams. It started out uh, with Air Jordans. Uh, most kids growing up in the 90s, uh, you know, was a, a huge fan of Michael Jordan, so was I. Uh, collecting Jordans was like a thing that I always loved to do, I enjoyed to do it. It wasn't until the retro craze started where I kind of, you know, got out of it. Um, I didn't like being, you know, that guy that had shoes that everybody had on, which was one of the reasons why I gravitated towards ice cream, but that's not the main reason. Uh, I am a piano player, so uh, listening to Pharrell Williams, uh, N.E.R.D., uh, the Neptunes was one of the, the, the positive influences on me uh, collecting ice cream. <laughs> So, you know, that kind of sucked me in uh, as, far as, as, as far as listening to music, you know, playing the piano, playing a lot of the things that I heard uh, that the Neptunes put together was, was, was greatly influenced on, on myself. And it wasn't until I got into that realm of playing the piano at, you know, Neptune's tracks, is when I really started uh, seeing the ice cream brand in BBC. Um, so my very first pair of ice creams was a board flip one. Because remember, at the time, boutiques were very expensive. Uh, you know, growing up, you know, 18 years old, you know, paying $200 for a pair of sneakers when you were already collecting Jordans was a lot. Um, and so that's something I didn't really want to get into. But once you collect the board flip, you saw that, you know, board flips came out at this price, but in some locations, the next week, it was at this price. So, you know, that was, you know, that was heavy on my mind, you know, saving money and yet collecting. Uh, so the Boar Flip one is, is basically my, my, my gateway to the ice cream sneaker collection. Um, it's, it's what I had first, and um, you know, I'm going to talk more about you know, being into board flips versus the boutique at that young age. So having my first board flip, uh, I was able to get as many as I wanted to because a lot of the stores where I was was uh, selling board flips around $20. Uh, so that, that was uh, a big influence on, on uh, you know, me collecting. Why would I buy one pair of Jordans that's already going out of style um, when I can have you know, 20 pair of ice creams at the same price? So collecting board flip ones was, was, was something I was just doing. I was more aware of because of the, of the style and the color, uh, you know, exactly what was going on. You know, a lot of people weren't bold enough to have on uh, board flips. A lot of people didn't like the idea of uh, yellow, purple, greens in one shoe. Um, but at that time, you had people that were, you know, into the vapes and, and not only ice cream, but, you know, that was one of those things where it was like, all right, cool, now it's time to be different. And that's another reason why I like collecting ice cream. The people that were surrounded, you know, uh, with, with ice cream were kind of weird, you know. You didn't have that, you know, that run-of-the-mill person. Everybody was unique. Uh, the diversity was amazing. You were very artistic. So I like being associated, you know, with you know, with people uh, that were collecting ice cream and, and, and back then, you know, babe. Uh, so that was a huge, uh, you know, impact on, on why I started collecting as well. As I got older um, and I could afford more of the ice creams, I, I kind of started to divulge my way into boutiques. And one of the things I liked about the boutiques is that they were individually numbered. You know, to have a shoe that only, you know, you knew 3,000 people or a collect that only 50 people had, you know, it, it made it special. And then Reebok wasn't, you know, reproducing this. So once it was out, it was out. And once you had it, you had it. So it was kind of hard to, you know, to find someone else, you know, with, oh, with the same number or the same shoe as you. It was, it was, it was, it was impossible. So in the early 2000s, Ice Cream decided to, you know, the partner with Reebok and this is what was born, all right? The ice cream boutique. Now, the, the main difference is the packaging alone. You have your ice creams, you have your ice cream box. So they, they stay true 
to the to the brand of ice cream you know they they really went that extra mile to have your your shoes kind of in the setting of an ice cream box that, that was genius uh, they kind of lost that you know with the board flip one and two which is why the you know the boutiques are still very special you know and inside you also had uh not only did you have you know the shoes i keep my all my shoes in in, uh, in packaging, but you also had accessories. So every shoe came with a keychain. Every shoe came with an ice cream spoon, which is the shoe, the shoehorn. And you also had, you know, your ice cream small box, which is almost like an accessory, uh, M and M, Skittles, like a topping or something. But in this case, you got an extra pair of laces. So you know, this was genius in in, in my opinion. And also, different flavors came with a different color box. So you also had different flavors. You had different color boxes, and every flavor had its you know its own amount of uh, shoes that that were produced for that flavor. So now that I'm into the whole ice cream game, you know, I got my boutiques, I got my, you know, I got my ball flip ones and twos. You know, for, for me, it's, it's, it's more than just collecting the shoe, all right? Um, you know, someone put it to me as, you know, you're not just a collector anymore, you're actually a curator. You know, these shoes haven't been, you know, on the market in about 10 years. You know, you're preserving the brand. You're preserving, you know, what, you know, what people, you know, uh, dreamt of 10 years ago. You're preserving people's memories. And that's what really my goal is to do. You know, I love collecting ice creams, but more importantly, I love, you know, the preservation. I love being a part of history. You know, even though that's, you know, that's long gone. A lot of people will say, you know, it never left, but you don't see these a lot. And you know that's my whole thing with collecting ice cream. So you know a lot of people ask me, you know, King of Creams, do you wear the clothes? Do you collect clothes? And the answer to that is, I do wear them. I don't collect them. Uh, I really wish I could. Unfortunately, in my line of profession, I do have an entertainment company, so I have to go to work in a three-piece suit, yada yada yada. Uh, but I still do have the clothes. I do not collect them. Uh, so you know, my thing is uh, the shoes. Um, I love the shoes. I love the ice cream brand, you know, it's never ever going to die because, you know, no one ever really dies. Um, but it's something that I'm going I'm to stick to. Um, and if you guys have any questions, you can always hit me up. Cheese.